hey guys welcome back in this video we will talk about the 555 timer ic and understand how it works Five 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 timer IC is a IC used everywhere. It can be a toy or a spaceship. Its main purpose is to produce oscillations. Before understanding the working of this IC, you should know what is a comparator and a flip flop. A comparator compares the signal at its plus and minus inputs. If the plus input is higher than the negative input, then the output goes high. If it is low, then the negative input, the output goes low. A flip-flop has two complementary output. One is always opposite to the other. If one is high, the other will be low. To understand it better, let's take a look at this case. There are four pins S, Q, Q dash and R. When current is supplied to S, the Q goes high and Q dash goes low. And if the current is supplied to R, Q dash goes high and Q gets low. Now let's take a look at LM555 IC internal structure and its pins. The first is the ground pin, the second is the trigger pin, third is the output pin, fourth is the reset pin, fifth is the control voltage pin, sixth is the threshold input pin, seventh is the discharge pin and eighth is the voltage in pin or VCC. Normally, the control voltage pin is connected to a 0.01 UF capacitor with GND to give a minimum voltage to first comparator. From the IC's internal structure, you can see that three resistors are connected in series with GND and VCC. After the first resistor from the ground, a connection is made to the second comparator, positive, and its negative is connected to the trigger pin. The output of this comparator is connected to the set pin S of this flip flop. The pin 3 is connected to Q which gives output when set pin S has high voltage. A PNP transistor is connected to R1 which resets the IC when a negative voltage to pin 4 is applied as the pin 4 is connected to the base of the transistor. Another comparator is connected to pin 5 and pin 6 which pull it high when a higher voltage is applied to the threshold pin. A NPN transistor is connected to discharge pin. The transistor connects the discharge pin to GND when a positive voltage is applied to the base via Q dash. The flip flop in the IC works as follows. When Second comparator goes high, the S goes high, by this the Q connected to output also goes high, making Q dash goes low, which in turn disconnect the connection of the charge pin to GND. When the first comparator goes high, it resets the IC making Q dash at high voltage, which in turn connect the discharge pin to GND. Now let's understand the three modes in which this IC is used. First is the H12 mode in which the output goes high and low frequently. This is the circuit diagram for this mode. Before understanding it, you should be knowing that the battery used in this circuit is a 9V battery. You can also see that the reset pin 4 is connected to battery positive so that the IC can't be reset from pin 4 as it requires negative voltage to reset. Now let's understand its working. Initially the second comparator is at high state and thus the output is also high. This also means that the discharge pin is not connected to ground as the transistor is at off state. By this the C2 capacitor charges itself via the R1 resistor. When the capacitor reaches two thirds of the battery voltage the comparator 1 goes high which resets the IC which makes the output goes low. This connects the discharge pin to ground and thus the capacitor slowly discharges. When the capacitor reaches below the 2 thirds of the battery voltage, the comparator 2 goes high making the output to go at high state again.
in this way the output turns on and off again and again with a time interval to increase or decrease the frequency of output just change the value of c2 r1 or r2 components the frequency is given by this formula where r1 and r2 resistors are in kilo ohms and c2 is in microfarads The second mode is the monostable mode. In this mode, the output will turn on for some time after the push button is pressed. This is the circuit diagram for this mode. Note: a pull-up resistor of 10k is connected to pin 2, which prevents to turn the cutter on unwantedly. It will be on when it is connected to ground. Now, let's understand its working. When we push the push button, the trigger pin 2 is connected to ground, which turn on the comparator 2, which in turn push the output to high. Please note that the output will stay high even if the push button is released. When the output is high, the discharge pin is no longer connected to ground. This charges the capacitor C2 with 100k resistor. When the capacitor C2 reaches Two third of the battery voltage, it resets the IC, which turns the output to off. It will stay off until we again push the button. Now let's understand the bi-stable multi-vibrator mode. In this mode, the output will turn on. when we press the push button and it will turn off when we press another push button this is the circuit diagram for this mode note that a 10k pull up resistor is connected to pin 2 and pin 4 to pull its voltage to high so that they will not operate unwantedly as they operate when they are connected to ground now let's understand its working when we press the button 2 it pulls the comparator high and makes the output high which glows the led when we press the button first it resets the ic making the output low making the led also low and so these are the three ways in which this ic is utilized i hope that you learn something new from this video please like comment and share this video and if you want to stay tuned with my upcoming videos please subscribe